Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in today. This week, there are major warnings of the greatest real estate crisis since the financial crisis of 2008 as commercial real estate contagion spreads. Commercial property values are in big trouble and with them, the banks that hold large portfolios of commercial real estate loans. Bloomberg is reporting that this week the fears of broader contagion are elevating as the latest, so to speak, victim, Germany's Deutsche Fondbriefbank, that focused heavily on commercial real estate, is all of a sudden preparing for what is said to be the biggest property upheaval since the financial crisis 15 years ago. So while it's provision for bad loans, or simply put, uh, bank reserves for bad commercial real estate loans is increasing, its profits are, quote, at the bottom of its already downgraded range. For those of us in the United States, none of this may appear to be a concern. After all, the bank is located in Germany. It has nothing to do with us. But that is wrong. And here's the worst part where it gets very, very interesting. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, $117 billion in commercial debt is coming due this year during 2024. And there are two things that can happen with those mortgage loans this year. Number one, commercial landlords will refinance at current much higher rates, which is unlikely to happen, of course, due to vacancy rates and the expectation of rate cuts later this year. Or number two, they will have to repay those loans. Unfortunately, this is the least likely scenario we're talking about real estate that is valued at millions and millions of dollars, of course, they cannot simply repay those loans. Well, there's also a third option. They may default on their obligations, which is absolutely the worst case scenario that would hurt the entire US economy. According to Bloomberg, the German bank joins a string of lenders coming under pressure over their exposure to commercial real estate attention, including in the United States. Bonds issued by real estate-focused German lenders slumped right after Morgan Stanley analysts recommended clients sell senior bonds issued by the German bank because of its exposure to the US market. So Morgan Stanley knows that it's best to get rid of anything that is tied to the US commercial real estate market, and that is precisely what they have been recommending their clients do. I keep mentioning that in a span of several years, we will see major consolidations in the banking industry due to a variety of reasons. The main ones being the launch of central bank digital currencies, of course, as well as heavy losses that small to mid-sized lenders will likely have to take as the result of their heavy exposure to commercial real estate loans. The Federal Reserve is likely to cut rates towards the end of this year, of course, closer to the presidential elections. So until now and that first rate cut, these banks will continue to struggle with uh, their defaulting landlords who are forced to sell their commercial real estate at a loss, unfortunately, and refinancing those loans. If office vacancies continue to spike, which they are likely to do, decreased cash flows generated by this commercial real estate will force landlords to default on their loans. Another red flag that you should know about is U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen finally, finally acknowledging that commercial real estate lenders are in big trouble. Earlier this week, Yellen said that losses in commercial real estate will put stress on owners of these properties. And we know that if owners are struggling, if they are under a tremendous amount of stress, that means that they are unable to meet their financial obligations, their loan obligations, of course. We know that once Yellen admits to at least a fraction, a small fraction of a problem, it must be really, really serious. Towards the end of her speech, she did somewhat of a U-turn, I have to admit, and she said, but don't worry, all of these things, all of these problems are manageable, according to Janet Yellen. So take a look. Yes, I do have a concern about commercial real estate. Um, we discuss it in the FSOC annual report, and FSOC has been quite focused on it. Um, 
the banking supervisors have also been focused on commercial real estate and um, are working closely with the banks they supervise to discuss ways to manage and work with borrowers who have problems. Um, they're, um, in some cases, um, working to make sure that loan loss reserves are built up to um, cover losses, that uh, dividend policies are appropriate, that liquidity is adequate. So um, the higher interest rate environment, and in some cases, particularly the case of office building, shifts in work patterns due to the pandemic, um, coupled with many commercial real estate loans coming due and needing to be financed, refinanced in a context where uh, vacancy rates in some cities are um, quite high, um, is going to put a lot of stress on the owners of these properties. And so um, the banking agencies are very focused in helping the banks manage, th manage through these situations. So you're concerned, but not distressed. Uh, is that? Yes, I mean, I'm concerned. I believe it's manageable, although there may be some institutions that are quite stressed by this problem. Unlike Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, I'm not so sure that this situation is truly manageable at this point. I think it has been a while since it got out of control, and it is a house of cards at this point. The illustration compares third quarter of 2023 versus the same quarter a year prior. As you can see, San Francisco commercial real estate lost nearly 60% of its value. It is unbelievable. LA and New York lost about 55% of their value, while Seattle is a close fourth place and Miami closing the top five US cities with the biggest drop in commercial real estate values. Vacancies are the cause for commercial real estate price declines. The Wall Street Journal recently reported that offices around the United States hit a new vacancy record in early January. Nearly 20% of office space that is not leased is the highest reading since at least 1979. This does not sound manageable at all. The takeaway here is that if you bank with a small bank or a mid-sized regional bank, be aware of this. It is likely that your bank keeps millions in bad commercial real estate loans on their books that are either delinquent or have to be written off which would cause your bank to be hit with a substantial loss. So my advice to you would be to take a closer look at your bank and perhaps move your money elsewhere. There is a recent video on my channel that does explain why commercial real estate bubble is a major concern. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly, highly recommend that you watch it next. I will link it in the video description below for you. Thank you very much for taking the time to join me for this video. Please show your support. It does go a long way. Give this video a thumbs up. Consider sharing it and subscribe both on Rumble and YouTube. I would love to have you back for my next one tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.